Hi everyone, my name is Rosie Su and I am a solutions consultant at Adobe for Creative and Document Cloud. And I'm gonna do a very quick demo on Adobe Express and the amazing bulk create that we have available. So we have one natively integrated, but for today's demo, I will show you the add-on version, um, but it's pretty much does the same thing. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just start working in here. Let's say we start off with a campaign called Kiwi Fizz. Um, this is the uh, juice brand, kombucha, and basically we want to conceptualize all the flavor profiles and um, utilize our CSV file, which has all the Firefly prompts in it. So how do we get started? In here, I'm in Express already. Notice how, yes, of course, we can go in and we can generate one by one, right? So if you go into media, you can generate image, and then of course you can go put in the prompt for this peach background, right? Um, so I've already done one. And you can start to imagine if we needed to do this for all the other flavor profiles, um, takes a bit of time, but let's accelerate this process in here. So what I'll do is I'll click on the add-on in here and you can just go type in bulk, but I've already got it in here, it's called bulk create. Now what this does is it will open up on the right hand side in here and there's three steps. So you can set up your CSV template, you fill it out and then you basically upload the CSV template. So let's go and get started. All you need to do in here, very easy, we've got this in here tag it as the foreground image, um, and then the background tag that is the background image. And then in here, I want to make this the header and I can basically link this in here. And then where the order is, I'll click on that and click on add and write CTA, which is the call to action. That's it. And what you can do is simply download the CSV template. When you download the CSV template in here, notice how um, it will basically link to your particular Express file. So you need to go put in the background image file name, the image prompt, etc. So I've obviously prepared this. I have a link um, to the file, so I'll put a short URL in here. You can access the exact same um, sample files that I've created in here, as well as the CSV file. So the background image prompts in here, I use ChatGPT, my favorite, um, all the prompts in here. So again, we want to accelerate this, right? So all of these prompts in here, it will do that for you in bulk. And then with the foreground images, you do need to match them to the file name. So, so under Kiwi Fizz, which is the fictitious uh, kombucha brand that I've created, images in here, notice how you just basically need to go and match the names. So the lime, cherry, kiwi, all of these, right? So I'll just show you what these product shots are. All right, and then you can put in your header. So the header text, try the lime kombucha and it will correspond. So the nectarine one with a nectarine image and the nectarine prompt, you get the idea. And then our call to action. All right, so now back into our um, Express uh, in here, you just simply click next and this time you upload that CSV that you have completed in here. And again, I will go to my uh, Kiwi Fizz and upload that. And then next, just upload the images. So again, as I've mentioned, I've given you access to all of these images. If you wanted to try this out, click on open in here and simply click on create pages and watch the magic happen. Now we will click on all pages in here and boom. <laughs> How incredible is this? So I hope you enjoyed this demo. I will just wait for it to finish loading and then I will just uh, click into it just to show you all of these and what it looks like. So double click into it. Um, and then you can notice in here, it will tell you that success all done. So you can close that out, get some more real estate. Um, so just like this, you've got the lime kombucha with the lime background, nectarine, cherry, uh, mango, uh, and all the different cans in here. Of course, if you wanted to, you can all, always double click into it. It's fully editable, right? So. Um, you can go in uh, to each layer and make the changes that you require. All right, so that's basically it. Um, give it a go. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.